Good morning, all. Been a while. Oh, it hasn't, I don't think it's been a while since I did a copy of Doom Donuts. Uh, it has been a while since I guess I've just been able to. Uh, well, it's my first time doing it here in my in my residence, so that's fun. But um, so let's get down to business. You know, I like to use these streams to just collect my thoughts on what I'm doing with cards and all that. Um, I, I don't really can't can't totally whip out my my own collection right now, but also like I want to think about the decks I'm building. Because it is a problem, you know, to um, <laughs> have too many decks in the wings. You know, especially when stuff's expensive, you know, and you want to share it around. It's like, oh yeah, let me just pick up a Fiendsmith. Which isn't... Which is like half the cost it was before, so that's a bad example. But, um... And it is also something I've been meaning to do. Because it seems like now that um, the way to go is, is to play... Memento with a copy of Fiendsmith, which I'm, um, let me, let me pull it up real quick. One moment, one moment, one moment. Uh, Omega tied the middle while I pull this up. Where did I, what deck list did I see most recently? Not none of you. Is it over here? Okay, I don't know why I haven't put my over here, but I do. One sec. Almost. Nearly done. Okay. Yeah. Um. Kingsmith um, method. I, I think this looks incredibly solid. And it's probably like going to be my goal moving forward. I just think this looks great. Um. <laughs> the annoying part is picking up a second Memento Goblin. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I only ever had one, huh? Uh, but, you know. I should have a copy of Requiem. I've pulled like two copies of Requiem? Thanks, thanks RNG. You could have put any of the, um... No, not the big guy? No? Okay, well. Anyway, this build is cool. Um, very board breaky, very board breaky with the Eclipse and the Super Poly, which I am not into. Uh, no Imperm is interesting. Um, but again, Super Poly and Eclipse are just sort of. I mean, having gone to locals now for the first time in a while, maybe I do get it. You know, certain cards aren't, certain decks aren't as choke pointy as they were. Like, what the hell do you imperm against the Xanima Snake Eyes? Other than, you know, the, I mean, other than the usual Snake Eyes stuff, but then they just, you know, deception, blah, blah, blah. At that point, you're better off hitting trolls so they can't start plussing off of um, the one fusion and all that. Hmm. What I need to figure out, I need to get into my head, is um, what, the, what the Ash choke point is on his Xanima. I don't know if it's uh, the fusion spell, you know, quote-unquote fusion spell itself. I don't know if it's deception. Or I, I, what I thought I attempted yesterday, I ashed the, the fusion that searches because they, this anima, they, they fused into the into the level 6 fusion that searches the simple spoils. I'm like, oh, okay, this is the perfect choke point. Now they can't bridge into the other engines. And it would have worked if they did have wanted in hand. Whoops. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Super Poly is a bit of a pain in the ass. I was finally trying to distance myself from Super Poly because I hate stockpiling Super Poly targets. Which, even here, it's like... It's kind of... This is kind of... I mean, this is a common I happen to have lying around. I actually don't need any. I need Necroclip. I, I, I probably... I mean, let's face it. I probably have a Necroclip somewhere. I don't feel like digging it out. <laughs> um... Also, this moves away from the Nightmare and Riven combos, which I might still look back into. I have to. I want to see what's going on with the um, the FOE builds. Uh, but so far, and also we're still on Burfamet, so I guess like, I mean, Burfamet's still a level six. You can make off of um sequence, so and you don't care what happens to it once you get the berry effect. So yeah, like you, I guess like. 
uh, you could work your way into sequence fuse into Burfamet, send Fiendsmith, do your Fiendsmith combo, and then make Caesar. I'd have to see it in action. But no, yeah, this is it's, it's very doable. It's maining Cranium Blast, which I like. I, I understand why you don't main it. I because you, even at like your most efficient like comboing, like it's still something else you have to do. Like you still have to ditch it with like Goblin down the line or something. Or if, like, you really got the mandate of heaven, you, you get it off of mace, which, that's not gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat, and less for me to pick up, so I'm looking forward to giving it a go. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, yesterday at Locals I ran Voiceless Voice. I, I just, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little too rusty running Memento in person, and I'm missing all this new stuff. Um... I'll just play Voices Voice. It's the old standby. I'm confident with it. Boy, did I get screwed over. Let me tell you about this. Like, like round one, I get I get two owed by us. Uh, was it? it was White Forest Toy Azanima. I'm pretty sure. Maybe there was Snake Eye in there. I have no idea. The White Forest. Uh, they could have. Oh no no! It was White Forest. There was a Snake Eye that was up for up for debate. I don't know if there was Snake Eye. Uh, basically, just opening like four engine, including two diviners, and then like a ghost ogre, and then they imperm the, the diviner, and I'm like, I got nothing. And then game two was a little better, but there's a there's an Azanima synchro that just books your field. So if you if you blew your Skull Guardian negate, which I might have at that point. Hmm. No, I remember what happened. Um, I cited Cosmic Cyclone, right? Which, actually, hey, it's right here. Um, and I cycloned their Deception, you know, when they go for the effect, thinking I'm real fucking hot shit for that. Um, and they're down to, like, one card in hand. Um, what I didn't know is the funny interaction between the simple spoil cards. I didn't know you could shuffle in a Banished spell. I mean, let's face it, even if I knew that, I still would have done it. I didn't want the Deception to go off. Like, yeah, I would have done it anyway. Like... Uh, these wanted, right? Yeah, banished or in your graveyard. That's crazy. Anyway, they shuffled the deception back in and top decked Dark Ruler no more. After I had been saving my Skull Guardian the gate. So that was cool. And then round two, uh, what it was, well, White Forest, Azanima, Snake Eye. Period. No toys. And I've, I've played that guy before and other times I was there. He's, he's cool. Everyone was super nice, by the way. I almost felt... I, I was... My mood was tanking. And I was like, man, everyone's actually in really good spirits and not being a dick. Which is a, a thing I like about that locals. It's incredibly cutthroat. But yeah, yet everyone's like actually pretty chill. Um, <laughs> the owner's kind of a dick, but whatever. Um, so I go against this and... They take game one pretty handily. Uh, again, I'm like, I, I didn't see a lot of non-engine. Game two, I, I set up just right. I actually snipe my negates perfectly. Um, and then game three, we go into time and we draw. Yep. Better. Uh, and then round three was against Lab and New Messi, and they basically had to go and gave me the win. <laughs> but uh, maybe remember that I don't like Lab. Kind of a pain in the ass. It labs a deck where it's like, ooh, I hate it, and I know why it's not good enough. And I know I can't complain because it's not good enough. Let me go minus two to, to play a card that'll, like, make me lose to Dash. Like, yeah, huh? This does make me excited to run White Forest. Um... Again, I don't know what field I'm going to go with because all this future shit comes out and it's like, man, am I better off just transitioning into picking up his anima stuff? I don't want to spend money on Deception. I just want to run my cool White Forest toy deck. I don't know. Mistyield. 
By the way, bestials are in there. Bestials may change the tone of that dramatically. Uh, and as we can see here, White Forest actually, well, it's still as animal White Forest, like even with the toys. <sighs> so we'll have to see where that goes. I can always just, you know, buy that that uh, not Dragon Link deck, which I think is just it's worth nothing. I picked up a Bestial Dispater, so like I don't have to worry about that. So we're going to look at Road of the King to help with other plans. Because it's like, man, we got to like think about the decks I like own currently. Like, you know, I have lots of like little, little nuggets and collections of cards. But then like there comes a certain point where what you've collected becomes like, okay, you're committing. You've committed. And that was me with Ubel. And I, I've kind of just fallen off Ubel completely. So I'm moving Ubel stuff. Which is fine. It's fine. I, I don't. It's fine. <laughs> I, I don't need that many. Especially with, with this trash on the way. I would play Ryzeal if it weren't so... If, if I knew these weren't all going to be Ultras. And whatever the hell they're doing with 7th Tachyon. This deck might not even be that... Uh, interesting thought. What if this deck's not that good without 7th Tachyon? But we have 3 Bonfire. Yeah, yeah no. I guess they're off for Flacia. Okay. Look at that, we're siding flying, like, God, it, it's so crazy to me to think that. But it's like we've come full circle and we're siding <laughs> flying C. Malice, wow, that, that's a cyber stack. More reason to run Bistrials, by the way. Well, no, they love being banished. What am I talking about? I guess it's good against Rise Hill. Uh, but, uh, the real MVP. Look how Blue Eyes has developed. I need to pick up my pr two more Primate loads. But, this whole deck basically comes in its structure deck. <laughs> and they're off Crimson. Like, I looked through a bunch of lists. I, I, I did some research the other day. And I was like... Um... What do you what do you mean there's no none of that Crimson Dragon stuff? You mean I don't have to think? I don't have to think about Crimson Dragon. <laughs> uh, primarily though because of the new Primite Dragon, which uh, yeah, that changes the tone of things dramatically. Let, let's like take a look at it so we know what the hell we're talking about. Um look at the red eyes looking motherfucker. So it's a Primite Searcher. Big deal. There is a normal monster. Um, that's kind of... I mean, it just basically... You will base... Yeah. You uh, have an endless supply of Primite spells. Yep. Uh, also, it's a nice normal summon that lets you go into... Um, Oh, uh, your blue eyes link. So, hmm. I don't know what the normal monster is that they're that they have there. Let's see, monster normal level one. Attribute light. Oh, light. Where are you? That's still eight pages. <laughs> I should have put in dragon. You the, oh, there, this thing. Space on the Janai Usagi. Oh, it's a tuner. So, okay. So, like, what's the play here? So it's a light. Light hits a bunch of stuff. Oh, I can't say that. You're not even running the other Primite Dragon, so the, the, the attribute shit doesn't matter. But it's also literally a blue eyes, or it's a maiden of white stat line. Okay. comes from. I hope it's not a... Wait a minute. We should actually look that up. Uh, space... Homogenai. What 
did this come out of? Um, tournament Pack Volume 4. That's concerning. I hope they throw that in as an import. Yeah, I think what happens is that, they, I guess tournament packs never stopped in Japan. I never thought about that. Yeah, they've just been doing tournament packs this whole time. That's really interesting. Like, oh, it's cut off. I, they, they just, they never stopped. Uh, but they, they've apparently, they, they just have, much like the tournament packs of old, um, they just have, they just have normal monsters they put in there. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I kind of wish they still did that. I like the little kitschy normal monster they throw in. Um, but it does create an unfortunate situation where I feel like we're never going to see it. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to alter. I'm gonna alter my blue eyes build to better reflect this one. Um, I don't think. I mean, we can still run Flamville Guard. Oh. Like just for the sake of like a little bit of realism, we can stick to Flamville Guard. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. I am, however, interested to see what it's like to not run the Crimson Dragon package. I love Blue Eyes so much, man. I love it. I love them. I'm here for them. Incidentally, Carl, if you have any Primite Lordly loads. Yeah. Okay, God, we don't have to worry about me. I kept top decking the one of Master. I thought I was going to rip my fucking hair out. Uh, three. Was it now Wishes? It's the secret It's the secret one. Also, Drill Beam, I think, which is an Ultra, and I also don't have. But, you know. but uh,. Testing out with the with the OCG guy, seeing what happens. Uh, what am I missing? Trim down the veiler. Man, I, okay, oh, at locals, drill beam's great. Thank you. Um, I was running purge. I I sided my ash and I mained purge. And purge, I never pulled off purge as a hand trap. I kind of just never saw it. The one time I saw it, I actually set it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. It's, it's a cool card, though. Ultimately, I think Ash is just more flexible. But, yeah. I don't think there's any reason not to run them together, though. Oh, right, so CG, so we got Max in. Uh, Alright, we don't need Synchro Rumble. Uh... I don't know why I was running Prosky, but I think another barrel helps streamline things, so probably don't need that. Do I run Cross Out? I could, like... Well, yeah, but unfor unfortunately, um, uh, Impulse is just a, an insanely more powerful card. Which is, you know, makes me sad. <laughs> At least I'm not running any decks that can play it. Yay. I guess. <laughs> I'm sure it goes hard in you, Bell. <laughs> All the Malice players running cross home. Where is it, actually? The Malice players running cross out just so they can sh shoot stuff out of their own deck. Uh, this is what we're working off of. What's your side look like? 
I was wondering what their board breakers are. Um, not a lot. Ultimate Slayer is just kind of taken off. Oh, that's good too. That's funny. Banish a card to... And that's probably really good in the mirror. Mirror. Yeah, Lancey is good. Um, I don't know, Paul and yesterday joked about playing Lancey against me, and I was like, yeah, man, that was so... Because I called by his droll, and he was like, Dad, I wish I had Lancia, as I look at the Sephira in my graveyard. I'm like, yeah, that's good, man. Anyway, Lancia. Uh, okay. yeah. Dude, I love Chaos. Chaos Hunter is also really good in Chimera. I saw someone running, I saw some really good decks yesterday. Like, I saw that Flame Swordsman guy, who's, like, just a cool guy who was just running a Dolby deck for one day. I think he said that if he if he won a match, he would, um, he would buy a box of Bonanza or something. Um, but I saw someone on Chimera. And Chimera's great, because Chimera has this, uh, Chimera has this toolbox ability. Where it can just run any fucking weird anti-meta fiend you want. Like, End of Anubis was a big one, but it can run Chaos Hunter. It can just whip out Chaos Hunter whenever it wants. So I'm missing like the Maxi and the Cross out. So what I'm thinking is like, what about like I'll go silver? I don't know. How am I making Moonlight Dragon? Learning a lot. Can you just overlay to this naturally? How else are you? How else are you sending that? Oh, there's that one synchro I have to look up because I have no idea what it is. I think I know like what it is, but not uh, what it is. It's just like a back row killer. It's, it's fine. Also, I just it occurred to me to use um use spirit to get the light dragon. That's what you do. This only need, oh, this only needs to be special summoned. That's cool. Cool. Uh, let's get a copy of Azure Eyes in here. Just in case. And yeah. Screw around with this. It's been a bit. I kind of forgot what a lot of this does. I, I was wondering if I was missing something and stuff like that Neo Kaiser Seahorse were any good. Uh, but so far I haven't seen a lot of it. Oh, what am I doing? Get in here. Get in here. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I'm into it. I'm into it. I just have to remember how the hell it was I was summoning Ultimate Spirit Dragon because... No, okay. Spirit, Spirit Dragon gets it. And then Ultimate Spirit floats back into regular Spirit. <laughs> Very funny. Or this thing... Or Azurize, or whatever you feel like. Yeah, because Neo Kaiser is generally how you play this the normal way. I don't think you're really ever going to summon this normally without Crimson Dragon or without Neo Kaiser, because. Yeah. I mean, let's just see what happens.
Anyway, I do gotta give them, um, you know, like, Trail of the Memento later. It's less fine. Okay, what if I did this though? <laughs> yeah, actually, what if I did this? The Light Sworn Synchro that lets you pick what Light Sworns to send to Graveyard. It's just like, where's the soul? Why aren't you gambling? myself out yet. That's good. That's what I want. Uh huh. Uh huh. And blue eyes, what are you doing here? Yeah. Make you get the field spell. Can't attack. Oh no, oh, it's effect monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I blew it. Welcome back. And then, uh. <laughs> God, what a good spell card. Uh. And then we can special summon another normal monster out. Get them both go. It's in defense. I forgot to grab the blue eyes exceeds. Uh, this is like the one time I could have used it probably. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt to get you in the grave here. So. Or, to, or to do this. And this is uh, incidentally very good against Lightsworn. That okay. Good. Well, Blue Eyes is in the deck again, so... <sighs> Good. We just... They, surely they don't have a duster. Now 
flowers in the graveyard. Which is a really cool has a really cool graveyard effect. Excited to see it. Wow, they're really good with that. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, we can just drill beam the JD at least. So, yeah, no big deal there. Good. Mm. It really is fine, actually. That it doesn't matter. I don't need it on the field because I got the uh, guard in my hand. The garnet benefits us. Um, hold on. I want. I think I want to pay a thousand first. I do absolutely want you to pay a thousand first. There we go. Hurt yourself. Okay, what do we do from here? Uh, what's in my graveyard? Did I miss the opportunity to activate something? Yeah, yep, I did. It was primate. Mm. Okay, so I got two blue eyes in the graveyard. Uh, and this can summon it. In defense, but that is why I got Flambeau Guard here. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to summon you. And take you out. Uh, I got it. What does Little Dragon do again? It's done? Okay, it's done. Uh, I can't imagine a more winning situation than this. Reading Road of the King described Blue Eyes as like a tempo deck, and I'm like, ooh, yeah, baby, you bet it is. The Dragon did. My number hasn't been too big, right, yet. As much as I, um. Wow. What a pain in the ass. Wait, what are you banishing? Is this what is banished? Hold on. <laughs> no. Can I not? Chain Spirit Dragon? Sure, the single summon cards, but I don't know the White Dragon's. Why not? Am I dumb? Did I lock myself out? I don't think so. Um, I I'm gonna just. I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, now I can do it. Oh, Ryko doesn't target. Mm. <laughs> Shit. Whoopsie. That's unfortunate. Uh, you don't matter. You can chill. I'm a, yeah, I'm always lost. I. I've never seen normal summon Twilight Ra Raiko. It's not a super common occurrence. And now I will forget. You come to hand. You see activate Maiden. Play you. Activate you. We'll have to set it so I don't want to get ultimate fusion, but. Barrel is like my sinister serpent. Uh, let's see. I gotta remember how ultimate fusion works. Uh, shuffling the materials from anywhere. What's the thing that? Oh, wishes. Okay, so if I ultimate fuse. Oh, you 
have to have it on the regular OS first. Because it's a really cool thing where you, you use wishes to get um, Neo Twin or Neo Ultimate into the graveyard to like set up its graveyard effect. So that once Tyrant is out, you are very cool and strong. Or something to that effect. It's fine, I keep expecting there to be like a level 10 Blue Eyes Fusion. How's the Blue Eyes support? Well, it's as good as it's ever been. Um, it's the Primite cards that are kind of uh, making them pop off a little bit. I don't think I have game. I don't. Because <laughs> uh, Wishes is what gives the attack boost, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, whoops. Well, I mean, I win, but also... Shit. Big fan though. Yeah, I, I was flopping around. I could have optimized that a bit. Let's see, what is it? Is it a JD? It's not. They are politely conceding. So I'll just. Uh, unless it's a battle fader. Yeah. So, it's cool. It's good. Alright, we're gonna drill beam and load. And wishes, holy shit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load, add a barrel, and then I'm gonna discard... What if I discard barrel for wishes? I wanna see what happens. Because barrel's like my discard engine. I'm trying to remember what the purpose is of this. Oh, it's a fusion effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I guess. Kind of. Uh, let's get Majesty and Sage. So... So if I summon it, I cannot activate effects of special summon monsters in the field this turn. And I'm trying to make sure... Yeah, I mean, it's, they're, they're being polite, so I can, you know, you know, hit them with a brick. They're taking it like a champ. Well, you're a normal son, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna grab Valor. I got, I got Maiden already. Right. Maiden turned into True Light. Normally, True Light would give me wishes, but I don't have to right now. Grab Ultimate Fusion. Eh. Trying to think. Wishes is in Grave. All I have to do is get Blue Eyes to the field. Can I do that? I can. So I'm gonna grab Ultimate Fusion. Okay. Uh, turn you into Spirit. Grab Mausoleum. They have some interaction, I think. I don't know what it is, but... Don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is if they're, like, sitting on Mausoleum. Uh, so we... Target spirit to send a blue eyes, and then we're gonna tag the blue eyes, or we're gonna tag the spirit into the blue eyes. Bring back Maiden. Okay. We only have 
unfortunate part is that I think Drill Beam is going to be dead. We'll see about that. Um, and then we equip you to you. And it just now occurred to me that I don't even need Ultimate Fusion. Hold on. Isn't this the whole point? That's how you summon Tyrant Burst? You, you just send an equipped monster? Because Tyrant Burst is a funny fake anime card. <laughs> I always forget this story. It's like... Hold on. Yeah, I could just summon you normal life. What the fuck am I even running Ultimate Fusion? Hello? Huh. I mean, cool. Um... Also, I haven't... Oh, yes, I have. I've activated Spirit. Uh, anyway. Tyrant. So, uh, Tyrant's cool. It's unaffected by traps, which... Okay. Um... But what's important is that now that Neo Blue Eyes is in the graveyard, I have a cool little anti-target negation thing. Kind of for free. And they're, they're doing something. And I can just climb these. I wonder if it wasn't necessary to go into Tyrant Burst, and I could have just used this Blue Eyes and made into Synchro, and then I can Ultimate Fusion into Tyrant Burst, oop, into Tyrant Burst later. Right, but... Because I don't need Tyrant Burst anymore. <laughs> Bye! Question is since Spirit Dragon is my only way to access Ultimate Spirit Dragon, I don't know what the best timing is. I can still use you. Does it mean the rest of this turn? Because I've been activating stuff. I used at least um the Spirit Link. Calling for an opponent, that's fine. I mean, I don't have space for drill beam anyway. So, yeah, maybe the play is to not use Tyrant's conditional summon, but you hold on to it to like ultimate fusion later. Maybe? Uh -huh. Oh boy. Alright, well, this is okay, well, here, okay. I think uh, Carl mentioned Artifact Lancia. What if it was on a bigger body? Oh, cannot banish. Cannot banish cards from my graveyard. Never mind. That's not a Lancia. Pretty good effect. I, I I'll um I'll fail her that. I don't want you drawing cards. They haven't normal yet, but you know. So, the problem is, like, what's their... I'm going to negate this with blue eyes. Get a body off the field. It doesn't destroy it.
shame I only have one blue eyes in rotation. Makes Majesty a little less strong. And makes me wish I had Drill Beam set instead of Ultimate Fusion, but. Flash Mage, do you do anything on summon? Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Majesty the Splash Mage. Majesty is a really powerful card. Like, you basically, again, I, I, I feel I'm having deja vu as I say this, as the words come out of my mouth. You are entirely, entirely um, rewarded for just going through your combo and getting blue eyes into the graveyard. It's like, here's a free Icarus attack. Just for you. It doesn't target. anything from my graveyard. <laughs> it is the song. One of many. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, you're doing that. I shoved some Duels to the Roses songs into um, the Kingdom Hearts randomizer, so I'm really excited to show that off sometime soon. Maybe even this week. Used the promise charm for the first time in a rando run. That's crazy. I like it. I think it would be infuriating in a race, but I do like it. <laughs> change my layout because I got the Twitter icon on there. Huh? I gotta like alter that. Ugh. Oh. Do you think they like fucked up some? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, let's get like one more blue eyes in and then like goof around with another deck or, or plot something. I don't know. Like I said, I should... Come on. I should play some actual TCG. Hello? Okay. But I, I need to get off my ass and like play the game that I that I play rather than the one that I imagine. That's two cards in extra, so this will be to deal with Exodia too. Hit me with the spell book of knowledge, come on. Do it. There's a really good ash here I can pull off. I just gotta just gotta watch for it. I know, I know I can do it. It, what, Sage, get out of here. That's what you ask. Actually, if they're on Desires, maybe it's not Exodia. I don't know. <laughs> like, there's no way Exodia decks run Desires, right? Like, at that point, it's like Magical Explosion or something. They put, they set it instead of adding to hand. You fool. 
Oh. Okay. Scary. Terrifying. Um. Changes the tone of this drastically. <laughs> Sage. Sage help. I like how the Link can send the field spell to the graveyard because the field spell still like works with burst string of destruction. That's very funny to me. Oh, I missed my trigger. Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I said and not go into Tyrant first. Check if that's in like a core set or something. Well, ah, there you go, man. Um, there we go. Now we actually ultimate fusion using like uh, you and I guess you. There we go. That that makes more sense to me. Yeah, is this like a mistype? Because apparently, oh, let's find out. I'll just fucking do it. Blue eyes. Yeah. Because I I activated Lightstorm. I guess it's just kind of an odd thing you can do. I also really like how Tyrant Burst, like, you don't need it here. I mean, I, I'm gonna go into, um, Azure anyway, but... Alright. One day of peace. It's <laughs> fine. I wish it was tunes. I like tunes. Tunes are like, damn. They're all, almost, you know? Okay. Well, we've done that, so like, let's see what other fun things we have laying around, like Flame Swordsman. <laughs> Did you know this card costs money? It's like the only one that didn't get reprinted and doesn't also have a higher... Let's confirm that. Hold on a moment. Okay, while we're... You know, what the hell, we can show off. We can use visuals, there's no reason not to. Flame sword. Ugh. Why? What did I do to deserve this one, huh? It never. It, it both. It both didn't get a reprint. Like um, flame sword, fighting flame. No. Yeah, fighting flame got the the prismatic reprint, which is that. That's a good reprint. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, I, of course, would rather pick up a collector's rare, but this is a good rarity. Um, and everything else is a super rare. 
Even like the salamandra stuff. Yeah, this is like, this is nothing. Kind of a shame about how low rarity they all are, but you know. Focus, focus. Um, yeah. This reminds me that that white forest toy uh, as anima build I went against had was entirely starlights or quarter centuries and all that. That was max rarity. That was. Ugh. Also, I don't know how to play this deck, so you know. Uh, how's my mental build? How's my mental look? Yeah, this is like. Ooh, oh god, this is how you know that it's aged. Uh, let me pull up that build real quick, actually. Where'd it go? Ah, uh, god, I feel poor. Looking at those things. Okay. Uh, this will be quicker to adjust. Oh god, three mace? Oh no. We don't want three mace anymore. Combine King's not even here. That's a banned card. <laughs> uh, we have Prospy. No more Prospy? Okay. I can deal with that. Uh, the Goblin to you. Oh. Uh, just one of you. Uh, you now, everyone, you're going to see me forget how to play this deck in real time. So... Be nice. Uh, three super poly, got my droll. Oh, gosh, sleepy and fish aren't even in here. Yeah. Wow, this is like a 43 card build. Oh, I've never played a deck before. Yeah, I own, I'm like, I'm big into Memento. I love this deck. I just kind of fell off playing in person and, you know, things happen. Oh, no, mind you, I did, I have played it. It's been a while. What am I missing? Is someone starving? I don't think so. No Typhon? No Typhon. One of you, one of you, sequence. Okay. What's this, a cow's dragon? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you. Uh, uh, I got something in here I should. out of practice. Uh, fortunately, the good thing, um, what, I had, what I had been playing with previously was the um, what we like to call the Nightmare Griffin combo school of thought, which is where you do an absolutely convoluted line of link climbing, right? To facilitate having Nightmare Griffin out, where you basically... Man, I wish I could remember off the top of my head, because this is the hard part. This is the hardest thing about the deck, was running the Nightmare Griffin combo where um, you get yourself into sequence by making... No, yeah. Oh, no, I, I got it backwards. You make Nightmare Griffin first using, like, Artemis and Selene and um, Anguish, right? You know, Spellcaster, easy to bring it back. You, you know, how people would run, like, Effect Veiler and Selene and, like, climb that way. You're using Anguish here. Uh, you climb all the way into Nightmare Griffin only to immediately use it for Fiendsmith sequence. Light Fiend. And then fuse into... Where are you? Burfamet, who sends... <laughs> kind of whatever the hell. <laughs> Usually like an extra copy of Goblin or something. And once Burfamet's in the graveyard, you can, on the next turn, banish it to bring back the Nightmare Griffin you just used as Link Material. Except now it's in the main monster zone, so it's harder to play around. 
can use it for yourself, you know, blah, blah, blah. Also, at some point down the line, my favorite thing that you do, which is ludicrous, um, you summon Little Knight using something from the extra deck, I don't remember. You banish your own fusion summoned a copy of Creation King from your graveyard, which you can then bring back with Yama? No, my mistake. Yama brings back Nightmare Griffin. Burfamet brings back the, com the Creation King you banish with Little Knight. And you just slam those all down on your opponent's turn. It's cool. Uh, I will not be doing that currently, not with this build. But I love it. I, I love it. Uh, no, quite, quite. Uh, I don't know Fiendsmith combos super well, so that's going to take some doing. Who goes in the side? That's a good side card. Someone name a side card. Uh, <laughs> sure, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about this time. So all I have to do now instead is just kind of intuit some Fiendsmith combos on the spot. But, it's a deck I know better, so, you know, it's fine. Is that other side? Do you know this one? What is this play during? Success. This, this doesn't sound successful. Ew. Let's got one for one. What is the choke point on Ice Barrier, and is this just Ice Barrier? <sighs> Damn. Well, because you just add... Screw it. They're going to climb anyway, but... Is that what it is? Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Little guy in the, you know, you only see his eyes. He's blue. Why is he blue? That guy's blue, right? Those tokens don't look okay. <laughs> Hello? Simon, yeah. Funny guy. I think dude's blue. What, what's going on there? <laughs> What's not Trish do again? I always forget this. Uh, once per chain. Okay, at least it's not considered a synchro summon. Yeah? That one is, though. Yeah, he does kind of resemble the grandpa. Okay. Uh, Open it on dark. Let's try this out. They're gonna do Lancia. I'll I'll be real, I don't know. Oh, they're gonna summon Ryo. Motherfucker. Bye, Engraver. I want to make sure I have enough stuff. 
All I gotta do is just run over Raiho, honestly. I'm trying to think if I can do it. I'm in Trihorn right now. Just beat over you? No? Not yet. Confused. Yeah, okay, let's try this then. You'll activate and I fuse. What do I fuse into? Twin? Twin? I will not be activating the Montatlan Twin Dragon for once in my life. He's going to stick to the field. What do you got? Oh, it's my turn. Uh, uh, I'm going to run over Ryo. Get out of here. Gets banished. I, I don't know how useful that's going to be. I can do this. Uh, what's cool is that I can use Tatsu to pop Twin Dragon. <laughs> That's neat. You don't do that every day. I will do this, though. Here's the second copy of Raiho. No, it's just Wayne. It's just Wayne. something, right? Pillars. Oh, I'm done. Uh, alright. Use you to pop you. We're gonna send... Ooh! You? You. Actually, no. Did I not trigger Twin Dragon? Hello? I actually don't think Speedsmith comboing is the play here because I have um, Combined Creation to react with. Monsters in the graveyard, that's what. I should have been able to respond with. with combined, though. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's gonna go badly. I'll just. <laughs> uh, Alright, your roll is still good here. Um, is Super Poly optimal? Yeah, it is. Cool. We go 
opened uh, the field spell. Dark Blade. Opening Dark Blade with the Quick Play spell is pretty cool. And you. Decker Extra Deck, huh? You don't say. It's interesting that they didn't even like. They didn't even wait. <laughs> um. Anyway. Gaddick and Mason Graveyard. And then playing you. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna go for Fusion quite yet. Uh, like, I'm kind of safe here. This actually gives me a lot of points of interaction. Thanks to Combined King. Creation. And also I can do this. Yeah, so like, this is fine. That was really weird, they just kind of... <laughs> Are they gonna evenly me? What the f... Thank you for showing up. Have a, have a good rest of your weekend. Uh, we go goblin mode. I'm gonna go goblin mode. And then keep the goblin, of course. So, you know, do it. You know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. They can do this. They can just do this. I forget Toad is legal. It's in and out of all these formats. I forget what status it is where at any given time. They don't draw, I guess. Kind of not saying a lot. I'm 
Oh no. You ever realize what's about to happen as it's happening? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you ever start to do the math in real time and you're like, oh, uh oh. Uh. Opening Fiendsmith that one game really threw me off. I don't actually know how to play through it if he's just in your hand. Because it's just the one copy. It's not like a whole package, yeah? I guess you like... Closed heaven. I gotta reread Paints of Gold. Just look at my deck. Oh my god. Let's just see some. Yeah, you. Climb closed heaven. In, oh, in you climb closed heaven into Requiem with the, so having the closed heaven in your graveyard so to bring the Fiendsmith back and then you do some shit. Seltris. Uh, Seltris is really good and lets them play the game. Um, so knowing what I know about this deck, I'm gonna ash that. I have reason to believe this is the right choice. I just wanted to get the counters on, I guess. Get the burn effect, burn for nothing. This is Disharmonia, which is a really good one. And you get the, yeah, okay. I played this deck, like, just barely enough. Just barely enough. Which one are you? I got three and three. Shush, not yet. Which one is this? If a card you control be destroyed, move through counters once per turn. Target a. Which ones do you have? You have. That, which doesn't really. This isn't disruptive at all, so I kind of, I think I can just play. Then yeah. I think I can just play the game. So I well, first of all, bye. Oh, we're playing against um, Abraham Lincoln of Yowie. That's an honor, sir. So my question is, do I mace to go into Tatsu, or do I mace Tribute Mace for Breakout? I don't know what's optimal there. I mean, I can attempt to activate, and if they try to do something, a chain Breakout. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got Tatsu. Let me play. The fact that when I have Fusion in hand is kind of the whole thing. Sending. Um, I guess the usual suspects. Oh no, there's no mace. So do I do? What I can do is go sleepy, Gaddick. Gaddick, come back at sleepy and fuse into Creation King or Combine King, whatever. It seems right. 
Oh, no, no, no I can't, because I have two monsters. I, I can go into Twin Dragon, then. Let me try that. Probably should have waited to, and played the field spell first. It's fine. I'll live. Use twin. Pop. What do we add? A normal summon already. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is put the horse out. I'm going to play this just in case it comes up. I, should, I don't, don't want to forget that. Uh, but I will use my squads. I'm going to squad up with the breakout. Bring out Goblin. Activate Goblin. We're going to ditch the trap for later. And... I can hear him, can't hear it, right? Uh, we got one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I pop something to get Akihira now? Don't know. I don't really need to at this point. Because, you know. First of all, just Memento Fusion into co Combine. It's like, what the fuck am I doing? Come on. And this will send a bunch of shit. <coughs> Sending Bone Party to ensure that, um... <laughs> That's funny, dude. I mean, am I going to pop him or am I going to... Actually, that's a really good question. Maybe the piercing is good. Yeah. trying to think if I can end the game. It seems unlikely. Like, I don't think I can end the game, but I can, like, get it to a point where they can't play. Ooh, baby, I misread something. That's fine. Because... Making me lose attack? Is it the. It's those, yeah. Pow. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's how that that's how Baguska works, huh? Huh. Huh. I guess I would. I never really thought of it like that. Effect won't activate, but again, large dude can't hurt. God, they really want to pendulum summon. Oh, I'm negated. <laughs> Fine, I'll negate you. That's cool. Can you tell I haven't seen a Baguska in forever? Six more resident cannon. Well, I didn't. What was it? <laughs> One for you to special summon to your field, huh? Gaining counters, though. On the bright side, until they make a way to get combined creation off the field, they do have to attack it. <laughs> Shit. I can't respond to that, right? I can't respond to that specifically. But if I negate this, I become small. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Chain like one. Chain like two. Back. Boom. The top deck is kind of everything here. Let's get 
Hey, hey. Alright, uh, so we got this. We want you and you. Stop pendulum, right? Well, this isn't really. I don't know, like special summoning pendulum monsters, you know. That ain't really the play. You can see the drill's pretty good. select. I'd rather the random, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> we just need to drive a mental monster. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Terrible in time. <laughs> oh, thank God. Of course, it's Gaddick. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Ash. So that went so poorly that we're just gonna like start from scratch on that one. Don't particularly feel like playing that one out. And this will be our, our last match for the morning, probably, maybe. Decent enough hand. You know, we got our goblin nexus. We're gonna gobble up. Also gonna do that. I don't know how I don't know how good Droll is after an extravagance, but eh. made them stop at least. Okay. With that. us with the sleep play.
Shuffle, yeah. Shuffle, like targeting shuffle into the deck. Yeah. Did I not have gone into Goblin? Should I just summon Sleepy and that kept it bad? Maybe. Maybe. Because if I Goblin now, what do I actually send? Because Gaddix already had a rotation, so this is all I got. <sighs> Alright, what, what am I adding? Yeah, we did it! I don't know what their deck is. It's got punishment and extravagance. It could be some stun bullshit. So. Block if I know. I'm just gonna gamble on that. Is that what I'm doing? It could be. Big gamble. Oh, early load. Um, oh, what am I going against? Yeah. Mm. Mm. What's the mm. <laughs> No <laughs> I don't want you to get drill beam. <laughs> you can do that shit though. Okay, it's blessed. Shit. <laughs> That's fine. That's so weird. It's like the same pose, but it's different art. Into Prosby? I mean, extravagance and Prosby and blue eyes. What are you doing? What are you up to? Maybe it's more Primate focused. Zilla. I didn't expect that at all. Okay. Huh. What do I do here? Do you think they have drill beam and I'm going to be sad? Dark Blade. Dark Blade again. What are they thinking? Anguish. Okay, are we in? Are we online? Are we doing it? Chain like one, chain like two. Okay. 
okay. okay. And then add Toxic. Activate Aki. In case I can just attack for game later. I don't know. Might happen. Could happen. So you're going to lock me out of light dragons. Yeah? Okay. When this tribute somebody you can play the effect. Negate the effects of the light your opponent currently controls. Don't like that. Shoot. Banish all monsters your opponent controls with the same type of attribute as a normal monster in your graveyard. That is not an issue. But it is going to blank my board out. And we can, we can do things. <laughs> is it time? Boy. <laughs> Another one. Are they gonna get red eyes or Zoa? Uh, I don't remember what Zoa does off the top of my head. <sighs> Twice per turn, opponent activate monster effect or spell effect. You target a face on Uh oh. They fortunately this tributes, so it's gone. I don't really care about what happens to Aki right now. I mean, Fiend Smith out. Um. <laughs> eh? Be destroyed by spell or monster effects. It can't be targeted. That's that's pretty strong. Um, we're not done yet. I'm just trying to figure out how to get over this thing. I'm gonna play you. Can't target it, but I like I have some stuff going on. I don't have nothing. I got some friends. And shuffle you. In. Right. Trihorn is here. This leaves me. Can't quite get over anything. Like, sequence isn't a huge help right now. I mean, it kind of actually, actually, you know, I have to make a fiend fusion, which. Of which I have some. We 
got something. Sequence. It doesn't matter if she pops. It's fine. It's fine. Metal Zoa, pretty strong. Better than that Flame Swordsman metal metal guy. I still I'm still kind of working through how I feel about that thing because I had to make a whole other metal morph trap for it, and it's like you didn't you didn't need to. Are you targeting that blue eyes? No, you just named it. How many copies of Blue Eyes do you think they run? This doesn't appear to be a Blue Eyes deck. I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens. A little fizzle. Yo, it worked! Okay, cool. Got lucky. draws I could have gotten. Jeez. Okay. His trigger is momentum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I, I've played it. I've played so much pure. I didn't realize it triggers off of other cards. <laughs> uh, cool. Um. I still have one more Zella pop, but I haven't normal. Selling me on Fiendsmith, I just want to say. Okay, good. Good. Oh, I have to destroy. Sure. Um, this does make a. Um, Gaddic Goblin? How do I get back to hand? get to sleep sleepy. That's my that's what I'm thinking. I guess I can get to sleepy. I have dark light in hand. Okay. Chain like one. Chain uh chain like two. I hate it when Omega does that. <laughs> I'm like, uh what do I do? Gaddick. Activate. Grab. Horn to get bodies on the field, and then also Aki. Alright. I mean, I don't, 
I can not I can put Trainer on the field, or I can just use Dark Blade and like take stuff off, take stuff out. Both of those are possible. I can just go closed heaven into sequence and start fusing. Because I don't think I can. Well, hold on. Can I win? Okay. They knew. They knew. Uh, I, so I have to, I'm sad to report. Um, I'm gonna have to go buy a copy of Fiend Smith. That was pretty good. And I did a lot to sell me on it. Just the amount of baiting you can do, just trying to activate it like two to three times in a turn <laughs> with all the Fiend stuff is pretty great. Fortunately, you just kind of dick around with the one copy and that's like, Eh, can you make Caesar? Maybe. Sometimes. Pretty cool. I'm into it. So the next step is... Is anyone online right now? It's early. It's, it's Sunday. You can't expect to raid really when it's this early in the morning. Oh, Billy's on. Yeah, um, thank you for coming out this morning and showing up and all that. Uh, learned a lot, and we. Uh, I like how we uh, kind of brought that full circle with the with the, with the blue eyes and the primates. Very proud. Uh, we'll be back for more, with more other stuff later. Maybe like some Kingdom Hearts this week or something. I don't know. It's Thanksgiving week. It's a whole thing. Um, fortunately, I'm able to just jump in and do Yu Gi Oh and other streaming crap whenever now. So that's exciting. Um, thank you for showing. Have a great rest of your Sunday. And see you around.